Hi everyone, welcome to my YouTube channel. Today this is the question. This is a semicircle. O is the center of this semicircle. AB is diameter. D is the midpoint of OB. OD and DB are equal and each one is equal to 1 unit. OC is perpendicular to AB. ED is perpendicular to AB. And AC is joined, AE is joined. We have to find the measure of angle ACE, this angle. Before looking at the solution, pause the video and try yourself once. I think that will be interesting. This question is going to be a little bit challenging. Since O is the center of the semicircle, so OA is equal to OB is equal to OC. OB is 1 plus 1, 2, so OA is 2. And therefore OC is also 2. And since OA and OC are equal, this is 90, so this angle is 45 and this angle is 45. If we find this angle and add these two, we will get the required angle. Now, this chord AC or we can say this arc AC is subtending 90 degree at the center. So therefore, the same chord or arc AC will subtend half of the angle at the circumference of the semicircle. So this angle is half of 90 and that is why it is 45. Now CO and ED are perpendicular to the same line AB, the diameter AB. So therefore these two will be parallel with each other. So if these two lines are parallel then co-inter angle system will be 180. So this angle plus this angle will be 180. If we find this angle, so this plus this will be uh, if we find this angle, then this angle plus this angle will be 180 and then we can find this angle. If we join EB, then angle AEB will be right angle because diameter subtends right angle at the circumference. That is to say that angle of semicircle will be right angle. So angle AEB is 90 degree. So I joined EB and angle AEB is right angle this is 90 these triangles triangle AEB ADE and EDB are similar triangles so triangle AEB is here and ED is perpendicular to this these three triangles AEB ADE and EDB are similar triangles because if this is X then because this is 90, so this will be 90 minus x. So, so whole thing is 90, this is 90 minus, this is x. If this is x, this is also 90 minus x. x, 90 minus x, 90, x, 90 minus x, 90, x, 90, 90 minus x, all are similar. So using corresponding sides of proportional, we can find ed square is equal to ad into db. ED square is equal to AD into DB. So AD is 3 because AO is 2 and OD is 1. So AD is 3 and DB is 1. So we can say that ED is equal to this AD is 3, DB is 1, 3 under root 3. So this ED is under root 3. So this is under root 3. By Pythagoras theorem, this is 3 and this is root 3. So 3 square plus root 3 square will be a square is equal to 9 plus 3, 12. So root 12 is root 4 into 3 is 2 root 3. So a is 2 root 3. Now if we use trigonometry, then uh, this is root 3. This is 3. So tangent of this angle will be equal to opposite over adjacent. So root 3 by 3, which is root 3 by root 3 into root 3 1 root 3 cancelled 1 upon root 3 tangent of the angle is 1 upon root 3 so therefore this angle is 30 and if this is 30 then this will be 60 so this whole angle is 105 
105 plus this is equal to 180 so we can find this and then add to get AC but using pure geometry it will be a quite challenging thing let us suppose this angle is X so from here draw a line making angle X like this draw a line FD such that angle FAD is equal to angle FDA so let us suppose this is X so this will also be X this angle is only this angle is X so this is X so this will be 2X exterior angle is equal to sum of the two remote interior angles this is 90 and this is X so this only will be 90 minus X this is 90 this is X so this will be 90 minus X these two angles are equal so therefore this is an isosceles triangle so these two sides will also be equal base angles are equal so sides opposite to equal angles are equal but this angle x is equal to this angle x so this is also an isosceles so this will also be equal to fd fd fa fe all are equal we found that a is 2 root 3 and af and fe are equal so this is the midpoint of a so that means this is 2 root 3 by 2 and this is 2 root 3 by 2 so root 3 and fe is root 3 fe is root 3 and ed is root 3 these two are equal this is also root 3 so all the three sides are equal to each other and each will be root 3 so this is what this is 60 because this is an equilateral triangle all the three sides equal so this angle is 60 degree so angle CED therefore angle CED is equal to 60 plus 45 which is equal to 105 degree since these two lines are parallel so co angle system will be 180 therefore angle OCE OCE plus angle CED is equal to 180 degree so therefore angle OCE is equal to 180 minus CED is 105 and that is 75 degree this angle OCE is 75 we found so therefore required angle ACE is equal to 45 plus 75 it means 50 plus 70 is 120 degree major angle AC is equal to 120 degree that is the answer here is the third method after getting that uh, this is 60 degree and this is 60 this is 60 these two are uh, 30 30 because 60 degree is equal to or we can say after getting 60 this is 90 30 60 90 so this angle is 30 degree triangle AEB is a right angle triangle this will be 60 angle ACE and angle ABE are supplementary angles as ACEB is a cyclic collateral and some of the opposite angles of a cyclic collateral will be 180 degree so angle ACE plus angle ABE is equal to 180 degree ACEB is cyclic collateral so angle ACE plus angle ABE which is 60 180 degree so therefore required angle ACE is equal to 180 minus 60 is 120 degree once again we are getting angle ACE the required angle is 120 degree that is the answer